Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Craft. Thank you to everyone who came to the last episode which actually was the live stream and man did we get a lot of stuff done. Obviously added this rather charming park bench but that is not all. Just I love the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, it's so good. But we've also added loads of cooking for blockheads. Now I need to sort of sort out some stuff, we'll do that later. I love this because you can just like pick these off, yeah like that. <laughs> and use them to create recipes but actually the great thing about cooking with block kids is you can just use this block here and like whatever you've got like that for example um that would just stick it in the oven and it'll cook it for you and you can basically do everything from that like control center i just love the aesthetic of it though it's really nice Speaking of aesthetic, up here we've actually finished off the bedroom a little bit nicer. I do need a few more bookshelves and maybe some plants and things, but we've got some nice candles and bunting, bunting galore. If we go downstairs and then downstairs again, we also have a new basement set up which actually has all of the stuff organized and I actually made it like one block bigger because I realized we didn't have enough space for all the fruit tree stuff as well. And the great thing about these storage drawers is you can actually use this thing here and I just have to like click on it and anything in my inventory that can like go in any of these will disappear. It is super exciting. Now the first thing that I want to get done today guys is actually organize all the stuff up here because my goodness I end up getting all kinds of things mixed up in my backpack and not knowing where anything is. Um, I've made a small start if we head over here I put one of the leftovers in here so I could kind of organize my gold but I think we need to get the rest of this done and we're gonna do it in the form of a time lapse. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse because this took me two days. Two days. I have learned some things about the <laughs> about this orange drawers mod. Um so first of all, this can only reach like 12 blocks like it doesn't matter where it is it can kind of mat in like a kind of a cube I guess like a 12 by 12 cube so all the stuff that I built up here was completely useless and for some reason I thought these draw controller sleeve things meant that you could like make the storage bigger but that is not what they do Apparently what they actually do is make it easier to put like pipes and things from other mods into it so you can like filter items in from other places so um they're basically completely useless to me but you know at least it's finished and I made myself some corn chips to make myself feel better. I also came over here to the new bee nation and actually added a few in here as well because I figured we were getting a bit overfloweth, especially with these. And uh, I've actually added quite an interesting thing in here. This is called the void upgrade. So basically once this is full, any more poppies that come in here just get like destroyed, which actually is like quite a good feature for a farm like this. And then I added these storage upgrades in here so that we can have all the iron I could ever need. The bees were very approving. They came and like flew around here. So obviously I have done well. Bye bees. Now I don't really want to look at my storage anymore. I've looked at it for many days to try and get all of this to work. So I think I'm actually going to head over to Fernfell Hollow. And the idea I have for today is to actually get working on my stonemason's house. So I think guys, we will go straight into that time lapse. Yeah, it's a day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun.
and like magic, here it is. I even added a few like bushes and a couple of little extra details to make it look really nice. What do you think, guys? I'm really pleased with this. Like I obviously built it a few days ago, but <laughs> it was something that I think really needed to happen. And I, I like just like the little details of things that you can add, especially because you can sit on these. Look at me, I'm a stonemason. And I needed somewhere to keep all of my kind of stonemasony guys. So what you do is you come up here on the inside and here they are. Now, I think the thing that we really need to work on today is actually getting these guys converted because there is a block in the easy villages that allows you to convert them into zombies and then back again. But it involves having quite a bit of gold and obviously spider eyes. Now there is a way for me to get spider eyes. Someone on stream had a go at me for this because they were like, that does not make sense. Oh, actually, I, I can't get them around here because these are ferns. <laughs> I also forgot I need a pair of shears to do this. So the way I've done it, you grab yourself a piece of grass. Let's take a couple, actually. And then you get yourself some string, which in my case, I can actually get from wool. Ta-da. And then when you put the two of them together, you get a spider eye. I know it's a bit weird, but like, work with me here. Now, I don't have a huge abundance of mushrooms. I think it's a brown mushroom, isn't it, that you need to make a fermented spider eye. So I think we'll use some of the podzol up here and actually grow some. Give me all the mushrooms. Now, if I plant two, if we will remember there were two here. In theory, they should spread and we can use the rest of these. We also need some sugar. Lovely. Right. Fermented spider eye. Now, I'm pretty sure pretty pretty sure that we don't need to make these into splash potions for them to work at least that's how it works in the 1.16.5 version but i guess we'll find out i also need some zombie flesh it's lucky actually that i think there is a way i did like a recipe to make this but like most of this i've like found in chests and stuff so great glug 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 the <laughs> local brewery now what else do i need to be able to make this i think this is the converter oh yeah you need a bit of mossy cobblestone okay and some iron Right, I'm going to repurpose all the stuff from the breeder to be able to do this. So let's start by making the actual converter. There we go. So we'll give us another illegal zombie. <laughs> get you guys out, put you in there. And I think those guys, yet yeah, will have fallen in there. Right, oh, do you know what I forgot to get? Apples! Right, golden apples. Potion of weakness. Now we just need the villagers. Who's going to be our first victim? Dewey, thanks for volunteering. In my pocket you go. Right, so we stick a potion of weakness in, we stick a golden apple in, and then we stick in the villager. <gasps> well done, Dewey. What a great volunteer. Right, you're my mending guy. I think you're going to go in as well. Now, I have a theory about this. It seems that sometimes it uses the potion over and over again as long as you have enough golden apples. So I think we're going to test that out and see if it works in this version. Because normally in survival, I can usually like with a splash potion, like nail three villagers at once. So I don't feel too bad about this. Oh, sorry, sorry. That was a mistake. Come back, come back. He's fine. Everything is fine. I've grabbed the Mason villagers to go next, but I think my theory was actually correct that we have three villagers. I only put one potion of weakness in. It has consumed the apples. So I think as long as you have enough apples in, it'll do the job. So let's stick these guys in. Have fun. And, uh... Dewey, you may be free. <laughs> Let's check his trades, actually. <gasps> yes, I think I'm going to need to stick you in one more time, Dewey, and then you can give me those bookshelves for one emerald. Right, mending dude, fortune dude. Let's see if I got this right. <gasps> yes, yes, victory is mine. Yeah, I think you can, you can go for another round. Now, the only issue that I see with this is um, that this is, yeah, this is all my gold. <laughs> I think I maybe have like a little bit left, but it might be time for us to think about doing some stuff in the nether, making a gold farm and getting ourselves some little pig friends. The great thing about the easy piglin bartering farm is you can actually bring it into the overworld. So in theory, we could have like a bartering house here for the pigmen. Uh, I kind of want to have like a zombie piglin that's like, you know, like the stall owner. <laughs> uh, but we'll have to figure out a way to like pump the gold in because uh, they give you some pretty cool stuff. I think we'll save that for next episode though because I have got some converting to do. So although I don't need splash potions, it does actually use up the bottle to do these. So I'm gonna have to put like a water source here somewhere. 
And this way we can just keep filling up water bottles as we go and it means I don't have to keep running outside to go and get some water. Very nice. Very nice. I had a bit of extra gold in here, but that is that is basically all of my gold used up now. So <laughs> let's see who we can convert. All right, this smithing table guy could do with being converted. Let's put you guys in here and off you go. I'm gonna turn one of these guys into a smith as well because that guy doesn't give me a diamond hoe and that's kind of the only free tool that I'm missing. Gotta go get some iron. All right, dude. You've gotta you gotta give me a hoe, okay? This is this is how this works. Oh, I came over here to start trading with my farmer guys so that I could get some emeralds for that uh that dude. But uh, I've just remembered now that I've got this guy who we got in the lime stream, he will actually sell me stuff. And the only thing I'm actually missing <gasps> You don't sell carrots. No I'm devastated, guys. I'm devastated. We will never get carrots. Right, you better be worth this, mate. I want that diamond hoe. Just gonna casually throw these in the local lake. Look, they swim. One for you as well, disappointing man. Oh yes, I forgot I can sell them iron. Nice. Please give me a hoe. I suppose a shovel will do. Guess we need to pin our hopes on another villager. These guys are kind of useful in a way, actually, because I can just feed them iron for emeralds. So that's like, like another source of emeralds. Literally just going to throw these in the lake again. Look, a majestic school of pickaxes. Right, eat some iron, friend. Give me a hoe. Right, third time's the charm. <gasps> yes, we got it, the diamond hoe. I'm gonna take that. It's not even enchanted. <laughs> so cheapskate. I'm taking two. My goodness. I've organized these dudes to finish us off. So now we have a full complement of masons. I'm leveling this guy up at the moment, so he needs a bit of work. But otherwise, this is looking pretty good. We have got our weaponsmith here. These are all of our toolsmiths. Some of them still need to be put through the uh, the grinder. <laughs> but otherwise, this is all kind of set up. Now, the last one, I realized that we don't actually have an armorer guy. So I'm going to stick him here. I'm going to need to trade with him so he doesn't use this barrel. So let's go make ourselves a blast furnace. Easy peasy. And then let's see what you want, my friend. Oh, he's still baby. We're going to have to wait. And here he is, guys, all grown up and in place with all of the trades that I need. He's given me a full complement of armor. And I mean, look at these boots. That is amazing. He also got me a cool, funny hat. And I recorded this whole segment of me buying all of these things. But you know what? My mic was muted. I just seem to be having one of those days. So you know what? I'm going to eat these. And then we're going to head home. Ah, uh, peace and quiet back in Fernfell Hollow. Just the sound of my lovely animals and no more villagers going, hmm, hmm, hmm. However, I am afraid that is all we've got time for in this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We have got ourselves a full complement of villagers to give us armor and tools and really cool things, which means I'm now ready to head into the nether to get some serious work done. We are going to make ourselves a gold farm and capture ourselves some new piggy friends. So I will catch you guys in the next episode. Just like fire.